because tired that's important of finding a different way to explain, not to you, but to so many people, on why what has been said is so wrong. Right. I've walked into institutions as the only person of colour mm. yeah. and experienced covert and overt racism on so many occasions. And why the Meghan interview really resonates with me mm. is because an ex-work colleague, not of this show, asked me if I was worried about the shade of cocoa that my son was going to come out. Right. So I fully understand the hurt that is behind all of that. Right, let me ask... And when you're mixed race, mm -hmm. what you find, in my personal experience, and there may be other people that may come forward and say this, is that when you are a lighter shade of black, people gain confidence and feel that they can say things to you that they wouldn't say to a black person. That's such an interesting point. And that is my experience of all of this. Right. And by the way, me, me, I, by the me, way, I completely respect that, right? And that's why I wanted to get you on the program today. It was my suggestion to have you on to talk about this. But please, right? I, 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 and, and thank you so much for having me on the program. I really appreciate it. But I just want you also to be aware of the power of your words. And I'm not saying that you're a racist, but what I well, do, what are you saying? What I, do you know what I honestly feel? I feel as though. Because of your previous relationship with Meghan Markle, you're, you sometimes... I didn't have a relationship no, with Meghan Markle. You met up with her, you knew her. I and knew you said, her briefly. Oh, right. So we right? joked about it on the show. All that, that, did, was it, all that did was... It, so I'm allowed to speak. OK, talk. All that did was inform me that she's a bit of a cut and run. Right. Right, throughout right. her life, and all her family, her father, yes. her ex-husband, her ex-friends, right. they've all okay. been cut out of her life, right? And, and, it's an right. interesting observation that I happen to be one of those an people. An interesting observation, me, but I but, do feel... Right. Can I finish this situation that you, you are okay, struggling guys, to... guys, guys, if we're going to have this conversation... You've got to you... let me talk. I talk. Uh, right. Can we talk about the programme? It doesn't really matter what I think of Meghan Markle. It doesn't matter whether I believe her or not. What matters is the damage that she is accused of doing to the royal family. And let me ask you honestly, on the issue of race, mm -hmm. she has now got the whole of America and the worst of the world, frankly, looking upon the palace, the monarchy, the queen, everyone in the royal family as a bunch of racists. And it all comes down to two things that she said in the interview. Mm -hmm. One. It's something she didn't hear, mm -hmm. but Harry reported back to her right. that a senior member of the royal family that yep. wasn't the Queen or Prince Philip, so presumably is either Charles or William, we would hazard a guess, has made a comment to Harry about what colour skin his baby may be if the relationship progresses. Okay, Apparently, but there was concern the about the way in which that oh, hang question on. was asked. That's my question for you. She said there was concern. Harry didn't say that. And my question for you is this, and it's a, it's a straight question I think a lot of people are asking. Because you've been in this position, yeah. right? And you've been, yeah. you've been equally offended. On the receiving end of that is question. There, is there a qualitative difference between somebody perhaps innocently saying to you, mm -hmm. out of interest, if you have one parent is white, one parent is black, you know, what, what colour okay. could your baby be? Let me finish. What colour could your baby be? Is there a difference between that question phrased in that innocent, perhaps, mm -hmm. way and somebody doing it in a tone that says, well, how dark is your baby going to be? Well, I in think a derogatory, and, and that, and perhaps that, racist right, tone. Right, exactly, and there is a difference. But what we're getting from the interview is that it was said in a negative well, way. She said that, but he didn't, did he? Listen, stop separating Harry and Meghan. Mm. They, they, they are a team, quite clearly. Yeah. A very strong team. And I do believe that she backs him up and... He backs her up. Yeah. Right. So, and, and like I said, tone and language is everything. But is there a difference? Okay, but let me ask when you. When it was said to me, the, the key word, the key word was, yeah. are you worried? Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. But that to me is and racist. And there's a big difference. That to me is racist. But that's what she It is reports. racist. Do you think it's she racist? It's a legitimate concern. question many people have asked. Is it racist, do you think, if for argument's sake it was William? Or Charles. Let's not put a name yeah. to this person. We, we don't know. And part of the problem, and I know you agree with me about this, it'd be easier if they just said who it was. Right. Right? I'll come to that. But is there a difference? If it was said, perhaps in all innocence, right, and they just said, oh, what, what colour baby might you have, without any suggestion of it being a concern or a worry if it had darker skin, would that in itself, would just I the question be racist? In, that in itself is fine, but you have to think about 
how it feels on the receiving end, because what we're speculating is has, as to how that message... Yeah, I don't know how it was communicated. Right, but what I would say know. to you is, but, if but it was, we, done, we, if it was also, done as a worry or we concern... We also have to take into consideration how it felt. The other thing that we also have to think about, and I have publicly said this on Twitter, Piers, I agree with you now that I feel that they should have named the person, because all it's led to mm -hmm. is all of us asking loads of questions, and I personally am looking at the royal family as to... Which one could Who's it be? Who's the racist, yeah. Who's the racist? But, the, but, but again, we have to also just take a step back. Do you know how much courage it takes to actually speak about racism, to actually call mm -hmm. it out? Because I've been in situations where I haven't called out every single bit of racism that's happened to me based on how I've been treated or how it was handled mm -hmm. in the past. Because so, you're worried about a backlash. And you're also worried about a backlash. And there will be people that will treat Harry and Meghan differently because they've spoken out. OK. But this is the whole thing. We've got to get comfortable talking about mm -hmm. the uncomfortable. And that's why it's important for me and you to have this conversation. Right, but let's just not make it personal, there. It's fine. It's not... Per it's, Wait, you made it personal. It's, it's, well, let's, well, let's here's, move on you know from what? that. It's hard because, Alex... you know what, we talk, we talk personally about, um, you know, people on this show and we give our opinions on them, don't we? So, actually, sometimes it does come back at you. We have to be... You know, it's fine. It's just the way it was done. We can disagree about that. Let's right. move on. Well, I it's think fine. It's I don't think people really care too much about you and me anymore. It's, like, what I'm, it's not what about I'm... me and you. And I'm not here because... Well, I, let's not it's... talk about me and you then. Let's okay. move on to the second part of their charge of racism. Meghan Markle said that there was a decision taken by the palace to stop Archie being a prince mm -hmm. based on his potential skin colour. That is completely untrue. That's just not true. Now, the damaging effect of that plus whatever may have been said to Harry, and we don't know what it was or the context, and we don't know who said it, but it was those two things have detonated, a, as you know, a racially charged bomb at the palace, which is almost impossible for them to refute because they don't talk in public about this kind of thing, mm -hmm. and people aren't probably going to believe them even if they do now. But that's what concerns me, is that the first part of that allegation, we don't know any of the details or who said it or how they said it, and the second one is completely untrue. Meghan just got it wrong. Archie hasn't been prevented from being a prince because of his skin colour. And that's been now believed by Americans on national television there. And that is damaging. But again, do you know what? It's their lived experience and... No, it's not true. Well, look, Piers, it's their lived experience. And again, this is, this is where the confusion comes in. You know, how do you sometimes identify covert racism? It's actually quite hard because it's not there. No, for but you. Alex, in on that one, it's not true. I know, There's no covert but Piers, racism. But Piers, no what you're but, saying is but, there are facts. Right. And what Alex is saying is there is an experience and a perception of those facts that you only appreciate when you're in that situation. No, I'm sorry. On that second this, this, part, on the this, first part, I agree. If it turns out, let me make it crystal clear where I stand on this. If it turns out that a senior member of the royal family, a future king perhaps of this country, we don't know who it is. I don't want to cast... The aspersions are being cast because they won't say. But they have eliminated the Queen yeah. and Prince Philip. So they've gone halfway, which I think is incredibly unfair on the ones who are left. But say it is a future king that said this in a derogatory way. We can't have a racist king. We can't. So that, to me, would be but, racism. But, if it was said derogatory... But the second part of the charge, that, Har uh, the, uh, that Archie has been banned from being a prince because of his skin colour, is just untrue. It's nothing to do with racism. The fact itself on which she's based that, that claim is not true. Except her perception appears to be that it might have well, been... Well, it's like me saying the sky is blue outside. Race. My perception is it's raining. It's, you can't muck around with facts. She got the facts wrong on that. It's been demonstrated today in every paper that fact is simply untrue. There's been no discrimination against Archie in terms of being called a prince because of his skin colour, because he's not entitled at the moment to be called a prince. Just the rules of the palace, set by set a hundred years ago. Yeah, but, but at least she's explaining but her experience. Exactly, she's perception. explaining her experience of it. And you know what? We've not walked in her shoes, so but I wouldn't. I don't care what I your know, experience is. She's still, you know on what? Is wrong. You're still entitled to, to your to perception. You know, not and, about and, a fact and, or not. And, but, and that's and that's also coming through. Lived yeah, but Alex, experience. on that one, but, you're not entitled okay, to. But I, what I don't care what, about her feelings. Okay, but what concerns me, what concerns me more, is the comment about the colour of the baby's skin.
Right. Okay. We've, you know, we all feel passionately about different things. Yeah. Okay. You know, we've not even, uh, you know, spoken about the you know, mental health and and, and all well, of we're that. Coming to a, that. Well, we'll come to that. But you know, it's it, it's it's really important that we have these conversations because what I've noticed on Twitter, you know, uh, particularly over the last few days, is that this, you know, this 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 uh, interview and, and what's happening with the royal family. The ripple effect is huge. Huge. To the point where it's me and you ripple, are on here, Alex, we feel so passionately about it. And it's great. I, I genuinely and, feel. And, and, and I want to talk about it. And, yeah. I, and, and I do feel as though, you know, yeah, of course, if, it, if, if we find out who it is, I'm sure, you know, you will be right behind me and I'll be right behind you. Yeah, you know, t talking about how wrong it is and how, you know. Mm. No question. No question whatsoever. There... But what I find is that people are, are, you know, don't always want to accept that it's a possibility that something like this has happened. And, and, and this is the thing with, with racism, right? Racism isn't always caught on camera. Racism isn't always a black man led on the floor with a white police officer's knee in his neck. Mm -hmm. It comes in all different shapes or forms. I totally what I want to agree see with you. is the same energy that we had back in the summer mm -hmm. right now. Yes, but OK, but let me just put a little dampener on this, right? One of the two charges of racism, perhaps the most incendiary, that actually he was being discriminated against because the Queen decides all the titles. So what she was basically saying is the Queen's a racist who stopped Archie being a prince because of his skin colour. We know that is completely untrue. <laughs> So no, I, don't know, the... I don't know that the Queen's a racist. I, don't, I would like to think that the Queen is not a racist. Right. I don't think she is a Look, racist. My point is this. Okay? But he's obviously got a difficult relationship. No, but Alex, Alex. And this is no ordinary Alex. family, peers, because, you know, know, as know. we heard from the... You but know, Alex, the do, you accept, do you accept on that point Megan just got it wrong? I, like I said, I am not an expert on royal protocols. Right. I am not an expert... But the experts on... who are have all said unanimously... They've all said, but again, they've said something different. Piers, I, I haven't I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to listen to both sides. Well, well they wait, feel a certain on, way. They on, feel so that Archie hasn't been given a title exactly. so because of the colour of his skin. Prince William so that's so we know that's not true. Well, hang on a moment. So Prince... But you don't Prince, know that it's not true. We because, do. No, think about we it. Do. Can we just talk about yes, the, this if, particular if, fact? If, if, it's the, if, if, we, if we think about the possibility that what they're saying is true and that they were worried about how dark Archie would be, it's also a possibility that they might not want him to be a prince. They might not want him okay. to have a title. And the thing is, shock, horror, these things happen in life. Unfortunately, this is the way it goes sometimes. Everyone's acting like they're fully surprised. I can't say that I'm fully surprised to hear these allegations. Uh, you know, and, 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 it, and it is important to, you know, to, to realise that sometimes, you know what? We don't even know we've got these problems in our family. You might have an all-white family and one day someone of colour walks in I would love that. And you that. find out... I, I know, love but, that. And, Christian and, Goddard yesterday and, said and to you me, find you know, out. wait until you know, one of your sons marries a black Listen, woman. I was like, I would and, love and that. And do you know what, Piers? I wouldn't be surprised if one of your sons brought home a of, woman of and colour. And what part of your knowledge of me would think I wouldn't embrace and welcome Piers, but the thing is, I'm not saying... This is what I, that's what I'm saying. We've had, we have conversations on the show, mm. we have conversations off the show, OK? And I don't feel that you are a racist. I'm sorry. And if people say to me, Piers Morgan, he's... I will 100% I will say... I don't have my, a racist bone right, in my body. But, because my, I'm, I'm judging you on my experience of you, and my experience of you is not that. Right. OK. But that's why, but that's why I just feel as though the stance that you were taking on it yesterday was so strong, I just feel that it was slightly clouded by the fact that you've had an experience with her and actually what this is really about what? is the fact that you don't like Meghan Markle and that's OK. I and can... you know what? And it's OK that Meghan Markle might not be perfect. All that did... It's and let okay me just that press she again. might be a little bit difficult. I did not know her that well. All it did was inform me that she has a bit of a streak in her where she cuts people out of her life when she moves on. That's fine. She's entitled to do that. But she's done it to her whole family apart from her mum. We've got a dad coming on now. He's been disowned. You know, she's got a track record of it, which I just personally find is informative about her personality. 